So inside leg, outside leg, wraps around. No, you're good. No, no, no. Do uh, yes, but you step with the inside leg. Okay. And then take the outside hip to the full. My name is Linda Hilton Buschini. I'm 53 years old and I am the wife of one, mother of two, and I work for Hilton Worldwide in the National Sales Department. Yes. Down, untwist, stand up. Calm down. Ah, that's it. I was diagnosed with breast cancer in 2005 and I spent the whole year of 2006 fighting it with chemo and radiation. And after that, I have been um, cancer free. I am a believer that uh, cancer kind of gives you that wake up call that you do have a second chance and not to waste time or putting things off that you really truly want to do or try and dance was at the top of the list. I saw a group on one day for pole dancing and thought I'd give it a try. I was 49 when I started pole dancing. I was 50 when I started competing. It's the best exercise. It exercises everything from every muscle in your body to your mental muscles as well. So I just want to focus on this, and it can go in any direction, entertainment, whatever, but just seeing the combinations. I had been going to a pole dance studio for approximately a year, and at that point decided I needed more to push myself in order to continue the training, and thought competition would be the way to keep me motivated besides the fact that I need to compete in just about everything I do. So I try to put in at least, at the bare minimum, six hours a week into pole training. When it gets closer to competition time, that really escalates into possibly 18 hours a week of training. And if I'm traveling for work, I try to work it in. If I land and I don't have any activities for the evening, I'll find a pole studio and go straight to it. So we need to talk about the APM. Within my job at Hilton Worldwide, it is a conservative type of company. I also serve on the Conrad and Hilton Foundation's board of directors, and I kept pole dancing a secret for the first two years that I was doing it, just in fear of what some of my supervisors might think. However, I was really proud of the medals I had won, and once I shared that with them and showed them what it is I do, they actually support me wholeheartedly now. And in fact, the CEO and president of the foundation came to my last competition and cheered me on. So what was your next competition? It's gonna be in April. Where is it, right? Yeah, in LA, at the convention center. My family is 100% supportive of my pole dancing and they all come to my competitions and cheer me on and wear my Team Linda t-shirts. My older son would probably say he's traumatized by the pole experience, however, when he's in the audience and cheering me on, afterwards I can tell he's beaming with pride and says things like, I can't believe you can do that, and when did you get so good? Brandon, <laughs> what, what t-shirt you want? Tell me which, which red color you want mama for shirt for this competition. Red. Red? Red. You want a shirt? Red? Okay. And of course, Brandon is always cheering me on and very proud of me. He's in a wheelchair and he's rolled over to me after um, a bad experience I had once in a competition and gave me the biggest hug ever. He was so proud of me, regardless. I have three competitions that are coming up that I'm training for. As far as uh, the team that it takes to compete, I have Kelly Vaughn from Choreography House, who is my main choreographer. She's the one who calls all of the shots. I have a flexibility coach as well. I have a costume maker. I have a hair and makeup artist. It does take a village. It's almost like a movie credit by the time I'm done with the whole thing. As a student, Linda is probably one of the most committed pole athletes I've ever worked with. She's got this work ethic that it's not done until it's complete. It's a mutual, um, mutually inspiring experience. So besides making my husband happy, pole dancing has made me stronger, more flexible, and more expressive in my dance. When I'm on the pole and I'm working on something new, I am so engaged. You have to be 100% there and present in those moments. I don't think that there's any age limit to doing pole. 
It's really a state of mind and how much you want to get out of it. There are pole dancers that are older than I am and I just strive to beat them in the end and be the oldest pole dancer in the world. Hey. Wow.